In this video, we're going to learn how to use Trimble Connect to use SketchUp in a parallel contributor environment. This basically means you can have multiple people collaborating within a project at the same time by using externally referenced content. At the very least, it's worth knowing that Trimble Connect is a place where you can securely share models and more, and unlimited storage in Trimble Connect is included as part of your SketchUp Pro or Studio subscription. We have an earlier video that discusses creating a local component library, and some of the concepts explored there are relevant here, so I recommend checking that out first. The link should be on the screen now. So this is a typical SketchUp workspace with components that have been imported from your local library. We can access, edit, save, and replace all of these components at will. But things start to get complicated when you have multiple people wanting to work within this project at the same time. So let me introduce you to a slight variation on this. So this is a workspace where we're only given access to the content we're working on and everything else is an externally referenced file that has been imported from Trimble Connect. So after creating the geometry, what we want to know is how to upload something to Trimble Connect. Let's go File, Trimble Connect, Publish As. You'll want to navigate to the appropriate folder within the Trimble Connect project and then click Publish Model. Once that's successfully published, click OK. Before we leave here, I just want to show you that these externally referenced objects are all locked out, so we're not able to modify them or accidentally change them in any way. I'm now going to open a SketchUp model that's saved to a Trimble Connect project. This dialog will open up, and I'm going to open up this one. You'll notice all we have in here is access to the building. So let's start importing all the other relevant content. Trimble Connect, Import Reference Model. Let's start out with the car park. and then the new structure. It's important to note that location information is very important when importing all of these references, but if for whatever reason your models don't line up, you can always go File, Trimble Connect, Collaboration Manager, open the referenced models dialog, click on the drop down, and then manually using interactive design, place the component in the correct location. I'm going to close that down for now. Now, let's say I've been working on the building here, but I need to ask whoever's working on the new structure here to make a slight variation. I'm going to very quickly switch across to the new structure model and has all of the context referenced in. And let's just say we'll do something like this. And let's say we're now happy with that. We'll go File, Trimble Connect, Publish Model. That change has now been completed. And when I switch back to the model where we're working on the building, in order to update that change, I'll just open up the Collaboration Manager, go over to the Manage Reference Models section, and as soon as I open that up, you can see that the version I have in my model no longer corresponds to the version that's in Trimble Connect. And so I can ask the Collaboration Manager to update that reference, or if there's multiple models that need updating, I can update them all by clicking this button. And so there you can see the change that was requested in the new structure has been implemented, and I can now continue on with whatever I need to do in the surrounding building. You don't just have to import SketchUp models. Let me take you to another example. Here, all three objects are external references. 
but you'll see we have another type of externally referenced file in here as well. Let me show you what that is. That was a Trimble Connect Collaboration Manager. Going to the Manage Reference Models section, we can see that, that was a IFC file created in Tecla. Now, we know that this Tecla file or IFC file is out of date. So once again, I can just update it. And the updated version is now in place in the model. As a final note, I've been going file, Trimble Connect, etc. But there is actually a Trimble Connect tool palette, which you can place anywhere on your workspace. And that'll obviously speed things up a little bit.